Hello, I'm Louise Rose, sitting here in front of the gorgeous, bright, new Karen Miller Spring Summer 2011 collection. And here to talk about the trends, the inspirations, how to wear it, is the joint MD of Karen Millen, Gemma Metheringham. Welcome. Hi. How are you doing? Good. I'm excited because we are surrounded by gorgeous clothes and bags and shoes and that's enough already for me. Um, but tell me, first of all, in a sort of seasonal overview, what's new for 2011? There's lots and lots of choices for spring summer. There's lots of new trends, there's lots of new colours. I think we're all ready to kind of brighten up and see something new. So what's the overall mood of the Spring Summer Collection? I think in the design studio we've been playing with the idea of effortless glamour. Karen Millen's always been a brand that's known for glamour, for being bold, but we wanted to really work on the idea of a, an easier, more relaxed glamour. And where the past couple of seasons have been very polished but quite minimal and quite pared down, I think we wanted that to be a more fun glamour as well. And there seems to be quite a 70s theme going on. I feel a little bit Studio 54, Bianca Jagger. Well, I think that's also part of the whole effortless glamour, isn't it? I mean, when you think of iconic style, you know, people like Lauren Hutton absolutely spring to mind. And that lovely, in our heads, I think we spend a lot of our time in the design studio sort of thinking about these fantasy worlds. So in our heads, I think we were in 1970s New York, you know. So it's absolutely the wide leg jeans. It's the fluid maxi dresses. But equally, it's a really great tan handbag. I mean, I think the nice thing about all the looks that we've worked on this season is there are lots of ways to buy into them. I think that's the best advice, actually, to anyone trying to do a trend, to sort of dip a toe. You don't have to dive into the Definitely pool exactly. Not. This season, we've really opened up the paint box. And I think the new thing is, you know, we're all going to want some colour back in our lives next summer. We have a, a pattern room, a whole atelier next door to the design studio. So the designers and the pattern cutters can work together to create things. And on some of these pieces, there are up to 40 different pattern pieces that make up the wow. dress to make the stripes work. But we've always said there's an, a layer of extra love in the clothes. So no shortcuts, it's the real deal. Absolutely, and I think you know we're very lucky. You know, we're doing that in the east end of London at Old Street, and we're one of the few businesses that would still support having a whole pattern room, working with the design team and putting that extra layer of love. One of the other trends that we haven't spoken about is the whole tribal trend. There's a sort of luxury, meat cyber, very modern but very ethnic trend going on as well, which is reinventing all kinds of handcrafts. And then some very sort of tribal prints as well, almost like hand tie-dyed and quite technique-y, blurred prints. But then they've got necklaces that we've constructed and the necklaces have enamel beads and they also have these very beautiful, very large chains on them. But again, if you don't want to buy the dress with the necklace, you buy the amazing jewel sandals, which are quite incredible, or the little jewel box bag. So I think the other element of the boho trend that people should definitely buy into is a maxi dress. I know that they've been around for the last year or so, but I think there are some really amazing new maxi dresses. It's very sexy in an understated way, which is Absolutely. again a nod to the 70s. And I, the best thing about maxi dresses, of course, you can wear flat shoes and eat the biggest dinner. <laughs> and on a practical level, girls love that. One of the things that makes spring summer new is actually all the different kinds of fabrics that you can play with. There are lots of um, very modern, very high-spec fabrics, so ranging from very billowy silks through to different kinds of very, very stretchy, almost kind of bandagey, very compact jerseys that you can really work with and play with to create the clothes from the fabric. And again, I think we're lucky with a lot of the mills we work with. We work with some really beautiful Italian fabric mills, and definitely the way their creativity works, that takes your mind to another place because you yeah. see the fabrics and actually the fabrics almost create the clothes. Let's talk about denim because it is a mainstay in every woman's wardrobe. We wear jeans more than any item. We've really been working on diversifying the range. We've really been working on having clothes for real people to live their lives in, for lots of different people to be able to buy into the brand. And, you know, denim has definitely become the staple of most women's wardrobes, hasn't it? Um, and I think for us, one of the things we've worked really hard on with the jeans is actually 
creating quite a womanly fit. We fit on a very curvaceous Brazilian fit model and we fit girls for jeans for girls. So, so it's okay to have a bottom. Absolutely. You celebrate the, the body. Yeah, Good. absolutely. Yeah. We've been playing with some different kinds of indigo fabric, so Tencel, which is a, a very fluid, rayon-like, very floppy fabric, and we've done some wonderful Tencel shirts and little shirt dresses. They look like very washed, very faded denim, but they just feel so much softer, Super so they're soft. nicer to wear. So it is denim all over. We've yeah. seen that seeping into to fashion in the last season or two, so yeah. that's here to stay. So how, how has the brand evolved and where is it going? When I started, you know, Karen Millen was really quite a small private company um, that was just going through sort of a very big growth spurt. Um, and now it's become, you know, it still surprises me, but it's become a really international company. I mean, Karen Millen currently trades in 40 countries. I think its aspiration and its inspiration has always been a little bit more European. Um, so we always felt it was really international, so to have it selling in Moscow and St. Petersburg and Sydney and LA and New York, Paris, Madrid, it's amazing for us. I mean, as a design studio, again, I think that's probably one of the things that inspires us all the most. Yeah. You want the Karen Millen girl in the campaign to look at you directly. You know, Karen Millen is a confident brand. Um, we would describe our customers our customers as glamorous, effortlessly glamorous nowadays, but glamorous. We'd also describe them as quite spirited. You know, I think our clients have got quite a lot of personality actually. We've always said, you know, they'd be quite good fun to go out with. You know, they're confident, they know what they like. She'd certainly be first on the dance floor if we did all go out together, I think. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> she'd know which us. table she wanted to sit at, wouldn't she? Yes. There'd be no negotiation. <laughs> no, and she'd get it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>